All right. Good morning again. Another question from CBSE sample question paper. Uh, this question is on the topic of electric field and potential gradient. So, if you see any question like this in which you find that there is a graph of V and X, I'll just repeat the graph of V and X. The topic generally is the, and then you see the question is on electric field. So sometimes electric field electric field can be expressed as a gradient of potential electric field as a gradient of potential i will explain you what it means gradient of potential a lot of questions in board examination and entrance examination are based on this topic so what it means is that electric field can be written as change in voltage divided by the distance across which the voltage is being measured. For example, we are measuring it in x-axis direction. Use this sign, but put a negative in front of this. This is also written as electric field is equal to minus dv by dx. And this is in i direction because we are talking about X axis because electric field is a so in this particular question obviously there is no mention of vector so this is good enough right this particular expression is called as that the electric field has been expressed as a gradient gradients mean uh, the the change in potential divided by the distance moved okay in the space where the potential is changing and the negative sign has been put because electric field, okay, the direction of electric field, electric field, the direction is always in the on the in the direction of decreasing potential. Decreasing potential. That is the direction of electric field. So if you find an increasing potential scenario, the electric field will be opposite of that. Okay, so let's go back to the question and try to understand that whatever I've told you as, you know, these two expressions, the gradient of potential, which is this and this, what, how is it linked to the question? So if you look into this question, the question says that the, you are given uh, electric potential, which is a function of distance. And you can see the electric poten the potential is increasing uh, as far as the and, and there is there are parts of this potential right so if you look into this there are parts to this uh, and we will just label the parts the parts are like this right so so you have one part which is you know this particular part so you can see the potential is rising till two. Uh, this is increasing potential, right? This, this is increasing. Then the potential becomes fixed. See, the word gradient also means uh, the slope of V uh, versus X graph. So, something like V by X, okay? Not exactly this, but it's change in potential divided by change in distance. So, tan theta, right? So, if, if you were to look into the line we just identified it has a slope right and the slope can also be found out by using this expression of derivative right so this also is a slope only right which i've written then go to the second part of the graph which is the potential is fixed a constant potential the potential is not changing when you move from two to four it could be two to four centimeters so x is in centimeters this is in volt X can be meter, centimeter. The, we, we are not concerned because in this question, nothing is mentioned. And then you can see the potential is falling, right? The potential falls from some value to uh, zero. From this point to this point, the potential falls to zero uh, in the distance. So this is the delta X being referred. This is also delta X. This is also delta X. So you have to find the equivalent graph of electric field, which means for every part of the graph, so for example, the first part of the graph, let's say this is the point OA, then A to B, then B to C. 
what you have to do you have to find the electric field from o to a which is 0 to 2 a to b which is 2 to 4 then b to c which is uh, 4 to 6 so if you have to write all of this right let's write this how will you write this the electric field okay the electric field is given by the gradient i told you and we are concerned only with the magnitude as yet right so if you see the electric field is increasing so what is the value you are getting here you are getting a fixed value because the slope is constant if you have a line like this let me just show you like this the first part of the graph i am referring to this one and i am drawing the same one the slope of this line is fixed right it's a straight line so it's a straight line and therefore the potential will be given by dv by dx so it's a fixed number it's a constant right it's a constant the tan theta is a constant number and uh, the it's a positive slope if you refer to that if i put a negative sign in front of it because a negative sign is there if i put a negative sign the electric field becomes negative so if you see this graph the only place where the electric field is negative is here right so if the potential is increasing you can see the potential started from zero it reached till maximum point the potential is increasing from zero to two and we know see electric field always decrease you know always is in the direction of decreasing potential but the first part of the graph zero to two is the increasing potential so electric field is negative so this is because there is a negative sign to show that the direction of electric field is is you know opposite of the decrease increasing potential all right so uh, let's talk about the second part of the graph there is no slope right if you see the second part of the graph it's a slopeless line because it's parallel to x-axis so tan theta is equal to tan zero is equal to zero the line makes no angle with the x-axis so there is no slope so there is no variation of electric field so the electric field has become zero from two to four right let's talk about the last part which is the decreasing potential so here you can see the slope of the line right the slope of the line is this if this is theta three tan theta three is greater than 90 degree it's in third quadrant right so third quadrant tan is negative anyway so you can see the electric field will be minus of this slope whatever slope you are calculating and there is a minus sign here right so this slope which i've written constant is nothing but the slope right it is the slope so you have to put minus tan theta and i told you for the situation number three the slope is negative so negative and a negative slope will become a positive so this is the positive electric field so the answer is one but mind you now this shows if you look into the second graph it is completely wrong because it shows a very you know electric field is also increasing whereas the slope you know these slopes are constant the tan theta is a constant uh, so electric field has to be constant here electric field cannot be a straight line like this having a slope because this electric field is increasing that is not possible it has to be fixed so this is completely wrong that this this was a good choice and so was this choice the problem with the choice number four was that you know the Problem number four was showing you an electric field existing from two to four. But if you notice this graph, electric field cannot exist here because the gradient is zero from two to four. So there is no gradient from two to four if you see this carefully. Right? I hope this is making sense to you that there is no gradient from two to four. Right? This is the two to four situation. Tan theta is zero. I hope this made sense. And the the last part of the graph which is the this slope is the one which is uh, the negative slope and negative negative becomes positive so i hope this question is clear in your mind so this was also wrong the confusion would have been between this and this 
but if you understand that you have to put a negative sign so electric field is minus tan theta which is a slope or it is minus of the derivative right if you know this negative sign it becomes easy to choose between first and second so we chose first and second is also wrong because second shows that electric field is positive when the v is on the rise there is it is not true the electric field is negative when the potential is rising in a particular direction so i hope this is clear go through my playlist in which i have explained you the potential gradient many numericals done on my youtube channel pertaining to these type of questions pertaining to potential gradient electric field can be written as a potential gradient i have used that as a concept quick revision uh, if you want more details go to my youtube uh, channel and watch the playlist of this chapter thank you very much for your time